So here's something else to take note of. For each and every time that we do each item, and we have to do this calculation, and then copy it across, copy it across, and then double click, that's time. So what I'm going to be doing is actually leaving it at the end, like I'll show you now. Select all, okay, at the end. For instance, I had chili's green, and I would have had, let's see what else we've got down here. Cucumber, corn on the cob, whatever. I'll then just double tap this and it'll go all the way through. So yeah, let's have a look. Let's see if it works. Now, let's see what happens when you double tap. Look what happens. Oh, it stops over there. Perfect. However, if I wanted that to continue, it would be a bit of a struggle, wouldn't it? Because I have to keep on doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, copy that, and look, it'll, it'll do a bit of cleanups. It'll need a bit of cleanup uh, later. Okay, so let's try it over here. And the beauty of it is I can do it once now. Right here, control V or command V, double tap. It's going to take some time, but as I'm sure you'll see, it's going to go all the way down now. Okay, so I've calculated price per kilogram in advance. This will change up my entire workflow, making me a hell of a lot more efficient. Okay, so let's do our next one. Let's just quickly filter this. Let's go green. Bang, bang. We're at the bottom, so let's select these two. Backspace that, click here. I'm scrolling up gently, not too fast. Ah, there we go. Shift, right click, delete, boom. Unfilter this. Oh, wait a minute, what about doing this? Ah, look out of missed out on double tap. One, two, three, four. Now that's four times that I had to click and then double click. So it's actually more like 12 clicks. Now this might sound silly, like, ah, oh, what are you on about? But but I've got thousands of these. Literally, they are probably about 100 to 200 different line items. So 100 times 12 is 1,200 extra clicks throughout this entire document that I wouldn't have needed to, needed to do. Now, with all four of these done, not only do I not need to calculate this and then copy paste, that's calculate would be equals. So I'd say calculate this, I'd say equals. Click on here, click a, a forward slash, and then click on this. Then I'd have to click enter. Then I'd have to click here with control. Click here, click there, click there. And then click one more. So that's that's already eight clicks, right? Then I need to double click here. First click on it and then double click. What are we seeing on 11? Plus another three, six, nine. So that's 20 clicks just for this document, right? Now, if you're doing 100 line items, uh, that can't be right. Let's just say 20 clicks. It's got to be more than that, but whatever. Let's say 20 clicks. 20 times 100 is 2,000 extra clicks that I would not have had to do if I'd used a faster method. So that's close to 2,000 saves. I like that. It makes it more efficient. And at the end of the day, I finish off by clicking here, scrolling quickly to the top, shift, right click, hide rows. Go back here, select all, and click OK. Here we go, chili screen hidden. Go here, come on, copy, come on, V. Now, as you'll notice throughout this video set, I'm going to get more and more efficient. And that's actually what I'm looking for at the end of the day, to so find people that are efficient and that can adapt to situations. Wait, I'm not doing the right thing. I need to just do this. Clear. I say red, chili is red. Okay, great. Now, 
I can actually just go from here to here, from 2018 to 2018, command X, command V, command X, command V, command X, command V, command X, command V. And that's me done, literally. So I'll take these two, press backspace, Take these. Let's just see if I'm cutting anything off. I'm not. So let's get delete selected. Then go from here to there. Right click. Hide rows. Show all. And Bob's your uncle. Boom. Okay. There we go. Nice and quick and easy. Let's filter this for clean potatoes cool ah well okay that was simple enough should have just done it right there and there so now I've noticed you could do this and drag and drop that's quick and easy let's add one row above backspace this one right click over here it's all the 2018 cool Let's hide that, click show. And there you go, clean potatoes, done. Copy. Done, let's see how 2070, yeah, we'll have to do this one nicely quickly. So let's go like this, clear, cob. Search for that, 2017, 2018, here we go. That's it. Now we do this. I'm going to kill that one. And I can actually hide that now. Select all. Okay. I'm working on a MacBook Pro. So this is relatively fast. So I would advise if you're going to be doing this kind of data analy analytics, get a good PC. Not a PC that is Windows orientated. Get a MacBook Pro. It's the only way. Just kidding. Obviously, you can use whatever you want, but it is pretty cool. And it's pretty ergonomic, I'll be frank. So let's do one more of these. I'm going to show you like this. Clear. Cucumber. Okay. Cool. Now, cucumber loose, surely these two should be grouped together. Yeah, that should. Anyways, take this out. Now, this has got a semi-decent volume of data, so I'm going to scroll down. I'm on copy, and then I'm going to shoot to the top here. Kill that. That shows all the data. I go command A backspace and I'm back here. I go command V, check up busy overclocking in this thing. <laughs> okay, so condition, takes what it takes. So it's shot 2017, bang. Cool. Wait, I need to do this. Command A, command C, go back here. Backspace to get rid of that. Go right to the top. And there you have it. 2017. Let's go and do 2018. Enter doesn't work. You have to command A, command C that. Nail it over there. I can't believe I didn't do this before. This is so much faster. I always think you should find shortcuts to get things done. Like obviously don't cut corners and make a mess up but always find the most efficient way to get something done because then you can spend more time on yourself or growing as a person okay whatever your preferences i suppose all right let's have a look it's also not a bad idea just to do this do this command a command a backspace just so your sheets clean for the next time round. And now all of your data is done. No more needing to copy paste, double tap nonsense. But it's always good to know what to do if you 
yeah, I don't know. I would say learn the fastest and easiest method. Always delete selected rows. Cool. Uh, it's cucumber. Straight to the top. Right click. Hide rows. And select all. That was pretty damn fast.